My Thomas Story Library with This is a story about Whiff, a very friendly engine. When he first arrived, I told Emily to work with him. Emily thought that Whiff was scruffy, but she soon saw that it was his kindly ways that really mattered. One morning, Emily was very excited. The fat controller had told her to work with a new engine. I hope he is smart and useful, she wished. Emily chuffed away as fast as her boiler could bubble. She steamed into the shunting yards to look for the new engine. The new engine was the scruffiest she had ever seen! Hello Emily, wished the new engine happily. My name's Whiff, because people say I'm a bit smelly. You're going to help me collect some rubbish. Emily was horrified. Come on then. She sighed. Let's get started. They soon passed Gordon, James and Henry. Hello, whistled Whiff. Who's your messy new friend with the funny sounding whistle, Emily? Snorted James. We smelled you coming for miles, wished Gordon grandly. My name's Whiff, whistled Whiff. It suits you, laughed Henry. Phew! Emily was very embarrassed. She hurried away, with Whiff puffing after her. Up the line, Emily and Whiff passed more engines. When they saw Whiff, they all laughed. Emily was tired of being teased. I must get away from Whiff, she huffed. Emily pumped her pistons. Wait for me, whistled Whiff. But Emily wasn't going to wait for Whiff and speeded up instead. Soon, Whiff was a long way behind. Emily was glad he was gone. Later, Emily saw Elizabeth at a crossing. Where's the new engine? honked Elizabeth. Uh, he got lost, wished Emily. No, I didn't, whistled Whiff happily. Hello? Oh, sniffed Elizabeth. Aren't you going to introduce me to your new friend? But Emily didn't want anything more to do with Whiff. She chuffed away as fast as her pistons could pump. Wait for me! Whistled Whiff cheerfully. Up ahead, Emily saw a branch line. Maybe if I puff down there, Whiff won't, Whiff won't see me. Emily chuffed all around the fat controller's railway trying to hide from Whiff. But everywhere, that em but everywhere that Emily went, Whiff always found her. In every tunnel, and in every siding. Until at last, she managed to escape from the scruffy little engine. Thank goodness, Emily wished. Now no one will laugh at me for working with such a dirty engine. Up ahead, Emily saw a very cross Spencer. I'm meant to be taking the Duke and Duchess of Boxford to an important lunch, he huffed. But my way is blocked by all these smelly rubbish trucks. Flatten my funnel, steamed Emily. Emily and Whip should have cleared the trucks earlier. Emily, Emily knew it was her job to move the rubbish trucks. She buffered up and pushed as hard as she could, but the trucks were much too heavy for her to move on her own. Just then, Gordon and James chuffed past. Can you help me move these rubbish trucks? tooted Emily. Me? snorted Gordon. Certainly not. Eh, no thank you, wished James. Emily was upset. I'm still waiting, huffed Spencer. If Whiff were here now, he'd be happy to help me, Emily sighed. He wanted to be my friend, but I was unkind to him. I must find Whiff and say sorry. Emily looked high and low for Whiff, but he was nowhere to be seen. Then at last, she heard Whiff's funny whistle. Hello, Emily! whistled Whiff cheerfully. 
I wondered where you'd got to. I'm sorry I ran away from you, puffed Emily. That's all right, whistled Whiff. I'm just glad you found me again. Let's get to work. Spencer was getting very impatient. Don't worry, Spencer, tooted Emily. Whiff is here to help now. Freeze my firebox, snorted Spencer when he saw Whiff. That scrappy engine can't move all these rubbish trucks. We're going to move them together, shoved Emily proudly. Oh, thank you, Emily, whistled Whiff. Spencer watched as Emily and Whiff coupled up to the rubbish trucks and quickly shunted them away. Spencer was very impressed. Whiff is a very, very useful engine, he wished. I know, bubbled Emily happily, and he's my new good friend too.